Good morning and welcome to Eagles Nest Live for your AHS Morning News. Hello, I'm Morgan. And I'm John and we are here to provide you with the news for today, Friday, January 15th. Whatever happened to predictability? The milkman, the paper boy, the evening TV. Intramural basketball will be next Thursday from 7 until 9. Please check, check the guidance office window to see what time you will play. Last night, the Apollo swimmers traveled to Central City to take on Muhlenberg County. The boys team came down to the last relay, which they won and took the meet win. The top three finishers individually were Caroline Shutt in the 200 freestyle, Emily Yule in the 100 butterfly, Emma Stovall won the 200 individual medley, Lexi Carlisle won the 50 freestyle, Bailey Dotson won the 100 backstroke, and was third in the 50 freestyle, Grace Bush in the 500 freestyle, Sean Boone in the 200 freestyle and 100 breaststroke, Christian Lee in the 200 freestyle, Landon Rafferty in the 200 individual medley and 100 breaststroke, Seth Boone in the 50 freestyle and he won the 500 freestyle, and Ben Ducky won the 100 butterfly and the 100 backstroke. Congratulations swimmers. The team's next meet is Tuesday at 6.30 at the Health Park against Ohio County. Hey Eagle family, with the new year ringing in, I've got one important question to ask you. Are you involved? I'm not really involved in anything. I mean, I never know what's going on around here. Here at Paul, I don't really know what's going on because I'm not involved this late in the year. Over this winter term, there are numerous events and activities you can get yourself involved in, become more involved with our Eagle family. Good morning. I'm Sarah Elliott. I'm the choir director here at Apollo High School. In case you don't know me, I'm very excited about our upcoming musical, uh, Your Good Man, Charlie Brown. Even though the cast is small, we do need help in the back. We'd like to have 20 people at least um, working behind the, behind the stage, behind the curtain, keeping us going, and also uh, possibly doing some singing from the background. The musical is in the middle of March, and I believe it is the 17th and the 19th that it's going to be performed. I think it's pretty important to know what's going on around the school. That way you can get involved in things. Make sure you're following things like uh, AHS Eagle Nation on Twitter. You can look at it on Instagram, uh, and just pay attention when you hear announcements. So that way, anytime you're bored, you know exactly what's going on around Apollo High School. As a teacher, I'm involved in Apollo because we have the Key Club and we have CUNA and we try to get as lot of students as we can involved in all of our activities. Another way to get involved in Apollo High School is by joining the track team. The track team has practice every day after school from 3.30 to 5. If you're interested in joining or have any questions, please see Mr. Schulte in room 318. Apollo boys and girls tennis teams will have practice this Saturday at Center Court on Bill Road from 2 to 3.30. It will cost each of you $5 to play indoors. Please try to attend. On today's lunch menu in the Mama's Kitchen line, we will be having pork chop with gravy, mashed potatoes, corn, pinto beans, biscuit, sliced tomato, fruit choice, and cookie. In the Global Fair line, fajita or pizza, refried beans, Mexican rice, fruit choice, and cookie. In the sandwich line, a choice of cheeseburger, chicken, peanut butter and jelly, grilled chicken, Tater Jim's, veggies and dip, Caesar salad, fruit choice, and cookie. In the sub and salad line, sub bar or chef salad. We would like to wish the following co-curricular activities good luck as they participate in events this evening. The boys and girls freshman basketball teams as they travel to play Grayson County tomorrow morning, and the wrestling team as they travel to compete in Hopkinsville dual meet tomorrow. Thank you and everyone enjoy your three day weekend. Good morning, everyone. I hope your day has started off well. Uh, like they just said, three-day weekend, another one. So 
Hope you enjoy the three days off. We'll come back next Tuesday and hopefully have a, another very good uh, four days. Uh, for those of you that your parents or guardians came last night, thank you. Hopefully it was uh, time well spent. Got to find out exactly how you're doing, uh, how you're progressing in your classes. As I said yesterday, we are uh, a little less than five weeks, give or take a day or two, uh, from the end of this term. So uh, I hope that you are in good academic standing. If not, you still have time to turn that around. If you are, you want to keep doing what you're doing. We want to finish this off, uh, and you need to finish it off on a positive note for all grade levels, to marry freshmen on up, but certainly for seniors, it becomes uh, uh, very, very important to you. Um, we do have birthdays through these next three days, so we'll get to those. Austin Clark, happy birthday today. For tomorrow, Saturday, uh, Molly Stats and Kenzie Toms. And then on Sunday, uh, Arthur Ezra, Elizabeth Ladnier, and Terion Talbot, and Kimberly Westfield. What was that? Oh, sorry. I thought somebody was telling me. <laughs> so, I'm hearing things. I'm, it, my mind's going, I guess. And then for Monday, our only birthday on Monday, Martin Luther King Day, Mr. Colby Hamilton. Happy birthday, early birthday to him. Doesn't look like we have any staff birthdays. Let's have a great day today, okay? We want to end this four-day week off on a positive note, go into three-day weekend, and we'll come back on Tuesday. So uh, make great decisions. Uh, do everything you can in your classroom to academically to continue doing well, and we will see you back here on Tuesday. Thank you. Please stand for the pledge. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.